strike it lucky tonight, a jackpot of £3,000. Try a little sophistication with a wine-tasting weekend. Get things really in perspective with a pair of eye-catching binoculars. And make the housework go with a swing. Win a new washing machine. All these prizes waiting to be won tonight on Strike It Lucky. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore. <laughs> Lovely. Nice to see you. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Caroline. Hello. How do you do? And Bill. Yep. Nice to see you. What's the relationship? Brother and sister. Brother and sister. Oh, yep. that's nice. What do you do? I'm receptionist. Receptionist. And Bill? British telecom engineer. British telecom engineer. Oh, well, yeah, right. Yes. What a rare sight. <laughs> now we've got you here, Bill. Can you fix them? No. <laughs> you can't. I see. And uh, your girlfriend, Bill? Yes. Lynn. 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 Yeah. How long have you been going out with Lynn, Bill? Uh, nearly three years. Three years? So, um, any chance? Never know. What do you mean, never know? Never know. <laughs> well, you know, Bill, I mean, uh... <laughs> you know what I mean, uh, Bill? Yeah, hey? yeah, I'm with you, Mick. Hey, one of the legs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> I mean, are you engaged? Uh, nearly. Nearly? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. She's not in the audience tonight, is she? She is, actually. She's sitting out there watching now. Yes. Oh. We'll be getting it later. She, she's what? <laughs> Pardon? Getting it round the edge. Oh, getting it round the edge. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's an original um, approach. Strike that one. Eh? Nothing. Well, I'm going to say what you like, Bill. It's all right. No, she's right. So, so, say, what'd you say? Nothing. <laughs> You keep saying things, I'm sure you do. And what, Bill, you've got to, you know, so you're not, you're not thinking of getting married yet? No, not yet, no. No. Well, if you do well on the show, you... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 3,000. If you win the 3,000, oh, you, yeah. you'll propose to her? Yeah, probably, yeah. Oh, well, if you get over to the end, I'll hold you to that. You'll have to do it I'll make her come out of the audience and you, you can do it for all the people at home. <laughs> so, there you go. She's clapping now. Hey? She's probably clapping now. She's probably clapping now. So it's going to be quite interesting, this yeah. show, all the way through wondering whether you're going to come it. across, all the others are going to come across. Lynn will be sitting there like that. <laughs> <laughs> then when you don't win, she'll go, you marry me anyway. Got any hobbies? Hey? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying things when they say nothing. I said she'll probably say more than that. She'll probably say more than that. Why yeah. is that, Caroline? Well, she's a bit of a... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's a little girl, but she has to say it. She says a lot. She says a lot. Mm. Small package says yeah, a lot. Yeah. Does she? Definitely. Yeah, I think we'll like meet her sometime. Well, I might, it, I might yeah. drag her on in a minute. That's right. Find out what she's all about. Hey, Bill. Yeah. So all the best. There, uh, Caroline. Nice to see yeah. you, Bill. All the best. Enjoy yourself for the evening. Let's welcome them. That's it, Marty. Yeah. How do you do, Marty? <laughs> and Dennis. Nice to see you. And uh, well, are you married? Yes. Yeah. I see. How long have you been married? 20 months. 20 months? <laughs> oh, that's lovely. So, how's things going? What's he like? Smashing. Smashing, I see. Yeah. Where, where did you propose, Dennis? Waverley Station, Edinburgh. Waverley Station, Edinburgh. Nice location. Mm. <laughs> Was a train going by at the time? It stopped. <laughs> it stopped? Yes, it came off it. Oh, it came off it? Yeah. Oh, that's why you were at the station? Yeah. Oh, he didn't take you down there just to propose? Oh, no. Oh, I see. I don't think so. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> and what did he say when he... Well, Can I tell you what, she's, what Marty said to me? Yeah. Yes, I'll marry you, but I'm getting you some new shoes tomorrow. You're They're terrible a disgrace. They had terrible boots on. Oh, you're wicked. <laughs> wicked? What, what was wrong uh, with them? They're nice. I got them then. Oh, you got him those pair, yeah. yeah. So you didn't like his boots? Oh, What's that, what they like? Hobnail boots or something? No, it looks like he'd been on a farm. Looks like he's been on a farm? <laughs> yeah. I see. What do you do for a living? I'm a retired joiner. A joiner? Yes. And Marty? Oh, I was a gent's hairdresser. Gent's hairdressing? Yeah. I see. For a long time. And you any hobbies? Well, I used to sing when I was young. You used to sing? Yeah. What did you sing? Lots of things. Lots of things? Yeah, I sing in the garden now. You sing That's in the garden? Good not sing outside now. You don't sing, would you like to sing a song for us, would you? Mm, oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah go on there, let me hear a song. Mm -hmm. I'm sing in the greenhouse. Yeah, no, no that's, that's you, my friend. You sing away, and we'll... I'll join in, maybe. Will you? Yeah. yeah, what number are you going to sing? Um, when I leave the world behind. Oh, a lovely number. Good singer. Yeah, yeah all the cameras will catch you for everybody at home. <laughs> 
I know a millionaire who's burdened down with care. A load is on his mind. He's thinking of the day when he must pass away and leave his wealth behind. I haven't any gold to leave when I grow old. Somehow it passed me by. I'm very poor, but still I leave a precious will when I must say goodbye. I know a Hi, Mike. Hello, Michael. Uh, and Louise. Hi. You married? Yes. Yes, yes. children? No. Not yet. no. Only three or four months we've been married. It's Only three or four quick. months? Mm. I see. How do you enjoy married life? Very much. Very much. Very much. Yeah. Oh, you tell him. It's good. <laughs> Wait, it is, yes. Yeah. And, and where did you meet? Uh, it's a dance studio, dancing. Dancing? Oh, do you both dance? Yes. yes. Do you? Very, very much. Oh, we could have a singer. What, what sort of dancing do you do? Uh, it's cabaret disco dancing. Mm. Cabaret disco dancing? We're in a team called the TJs back yes. in Plymouth. A group of nine of us. A group of nine of you? Is there anything you can show us with just the two of you? We think. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, well but how, much, how much room do you need? Come round here if you want. Yeah, down here. I know a millionaire. <laughs> All right, then. What happens now? Did it? <laughs> oh! Is that it? <laughs> yeah, you haven't sung anything yet, do you? <laughs> I see. And uh, have you got any... Uh, you, that's uh, sort of part of your hobbies as well, is the it? The main hobby, I see. Yes. And um, what about your honeymoon? Anything happened on that? We went to Jamaica for two weeks. Very and, nice. Uh, it's a nine-hour flight across, which was fantastic. Yeah. But we had a minibus to take us to our um, destination. And we're only uh, ten minutes into the journey and it crashed into a lorry. Oh, <laughs> dear. So you had a bang before the hotel? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, is, that is awful, isn't it? Oh, I mean, uh, did, uh, did, you, did you get over it all right? Yes. yes. Yeah, you, you, you the honeymoon was great. Yeah. Eh? The honeymoon was great. The honeymoon was great. Yeah. yeah the journey in the bus sounded even better. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Louise. Mike, let's welcome them. Let's play the game, all right? That's all right for all of you. All right, now, the idea of the game is to get from one side to the other. The contestants will get across first. Get a chance to go onto our jackpot tonight and win anything up to £3,000. You tossed a coin earlier on to decide who's going first. So, if you'd like to go to your places, we can start. Let's give a nice bit of encouragement. Here we go. All the best. Here we go. OK, everybody's across this, so I'll now explain what happens now. Now, to move across your artists, you have to answer questions from various categories. I'll give you a choice of two, three or four questions for two, three or four moves. You give me an incorrect answer, your opponent automatically gets the opportunity to answer the remaining questions and take your moves. Everybody ready? Best of luck to yeah. you. The first category, words beginning with the letter C for you, Bill. Two, three or four? Two, please. Two. For your first move, which word describes the following? Someone who assists a golfer. Caddy. And found in coffee and tea. Caffeine. Two moves of yours. Off we go. All right. <laughs> All right, then, Caroline, just move in a little bit here and I'll explain how we play this part of the game. Now, to move, as you move across, you can bank the prizes, but, you, of course, you've got to avoid those hotspots. Mixed up in the screens by our computer are anything up to eight hotspots. All right? And what is a hotspot? Not... No! <laughs> it didn't come out. Never mind. It's trying to scream. A weekend in Brussels. Hey. Nice prize. You want to bank that or this is not the last one? Go. 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 Okay, strike the screen. A hundred pound and a weekend in Brussels. There we are. All right, we go on to the next category now, which is how many, Marty? It's for you. How many? Two, three, or four? Two. Two. Please. Okay, can you see the screen okay over there? Can't. You want me to read out the, Please, an yeah. the answers that are up there? All Please. right then. The category how many? How many quarts in a gallon? 
28, 10, 4, four. 9 or 6. 4. Is right. If your second move, how many furlongs in a mile? 8. That's right. Two moves yours. There we go. All right. Okay, Dennis. Okay. There we are. We're off and running. We're off. That's it. Stereo stacking system. Do you want to bank that or risk there's nothing on the next thing? Go on. All right. Strike the screen. Binoculars and the stereo stacking system, they're yours. All right, we go on to the next category, which is for you, Mike, which is before they became famous. Two, three, or four? Two, please. Two, for your first move. These are former occupations of the famous. A beauty queen. Jaja Gabor. And your second move, shop assistant in boots. Shop assistant in boots. Oliver Reed. It's wrong, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> working in boots. <laughs> Here's your prescription. <laughs> Shop assistant in boots, Bill. Glenda Jackson. That's right, two moves are yours. OK, there we go. All right. OK, Caroline, strike the screen. Oh, never mind. OK, you haven't lost anything. We go on to the next category, which is for you. Marty, is pastry. Two, three or four? Pastry. Two, two, please. Right, for your first move, which type of pastry would you normally use to make volivant? Uh, puff. Puff is right. For your second move, which pastry is normally used for chocolate eclairs? Hot shoe, water crust. Shoe. Hey? Shoe. Shoe, you knew it anyway. Two moves are yours. Well done. OK. <laughs> OK, Dennis, strike the screen. A video camera, that's a nice prize. Now, do you want to bank it? Yeah. You bank it? Yeah. All right, they're keeping the video camera. Well done. OK, we come on to the next category, which is history on film. For you, Mike, history on film. Two, please. Two, for your first move, which actor played the part of Lawrence of Arabia? Who played the part of Lawrence of Arabia? Lawrence Olivier. Is wrong, I'm afraid, Mike. So we come to you, Bill. Which actor played the part of Lawrence of Arabia? Peter O'Toole. And for your second move, which actor played the part of Dr. Zhivago in the film of the same name? Omar Sharif. Two moves are yours. OK, well done. <laughs> Doing well, the boy, isn't he? Yeah. Yes. There we are. A case of wine. Nice prize. Go oh, on, go on. Do you want the case of wine? I'm not bothered. You're not bothered? No. Do you don't want it? a hot spot there. No. Oh, Just as well you weren't bothered. You ain't got it anyway, have you? No, no. All right, the next category is crafts. For you, Marty, crafts. Two, three or four? Two, please. Two. For your first move, what name is given to the art of paper folding? Mm. Uh, it's either crochet, pottery, macrame, base, br so brass rubbing, origami, Origami. Arbitry. And for your second move, which craft involves knotting twine to make lace-like decorations? Macrame. Macrame's right. Two moves are yours. Well done. <laughs> Oh, well, you married a clever lady. Ooh. <laughs> Not so clever up this end. There we are. <laughs> OK, we go on to the next category, which is where in the world? For you, Mike, two, three or four? Go for two. Two. For your first move, in which city would you find the following? Cleopatra's Needle. Rome. Is wrong, I'm afraid. So we come to you, Bill. Cleopatra's Needle. London. Yeah. And for your second move, Madison Square Garden. New York. Two moves are yours. All right. <laughs> OK. Hi, right, Caroline. Strike the screen. His and hers watches. Nice prizes. What do you want to do? You want to bank go them or is this one? Go go sure. All right. It's up to you. Strike the screen. £150 pound and the watches. All right. We go on to the next category, which is for you, Marty, is songs from the films. Songs from the films. Two, three or four. Two, please. Two. For your first move, in which film did the song Wandering Star feature? Pinocchio, The Jungle Book, The Sting, Paint Your Wagon, Mary Paint Poppins? Paint Your Wagon. And for your second move, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head featured in which of these films? Pinocchio, The Jungle Book, The Sting, Mary Poppins, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? Um, Jungle Book. Jungle Book sure. is wrong, I'm afraid. So, we come to you now, Mike. Yeah. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Two oh! <laughs> Okay, there we are. 
Your mascot took a little while to work, didn't it? <laughs> Never mind. Strike the screen, Louise. Two hundred and fifty pounds. Okay. You want to bank it? <laughs> hey, you banked. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. I do apologise. <laughs> 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 right, we we'll carry on with the next category, which is fashion designers. For you, Bill, and you've got one screen up there, a minimum of two questions. Which of these designers was most famous for making dresses for Her Majesty the Queen? Which of the designers? Holdfield. Hey. Holdfield. No, it's wrong, Bill. Which of these designers was Norman most? Hartnell. Hartnell's right. And for your second move, which of these designers is a former Bernardo boy? Um, Bruce Oldfield. That's right. Two two moves. Well done. <laughs> okay, then it's touch screen. Okay, mate. Hundred pounds. You want to bank it? Right, yes. banking it. OK, they're keeping the hundred pounds. Right, we go on to the next category. Back with you now, Mike. Sports equipment. Two, three, or four? We'll go for two. Two. In which sport would you need to use a puck? Ice hockey. And for your second move, in which sport would you use mallets and wickets? Croquet. That's right, two moves. Well done. <laughs> all right, Louise? Yeah. Little bear recovering all right now? Just, yes. There we are, strike the screen. <laughs> oh. Well, you did right to bank the last time. OK, we go on to the next category, which is musical birds. For you, Bill, uh, again, two questions. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Musical birds. Yeah, well, <laughs> Musical birds, that's what he said. Oh, funny. oh musical birds? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> What's a musical bird? Eh? <laughs> well, <it's>, uh, <laughs> musical birds, well, I'll give you musical birds. <laughs> First question. <laughs> After which lake did Tchaikovsky name his ballet? Swan. And for your second move, according to Vera Lynn, which birds are said to be over the White Cliffs of Dover? Bluebirds. That's right, two very well done. <laughs> All right, Caroline, strike the screen. <laughs> Exercise equipment. All right, this is the point of the show. You've got to decide whether you're going to bank that prize or answer the main strike it lucky question. So now, what do you want to do? You want to bank it or answer the question? Answer the question. Question. Going for the question. Right, I'll give you this question. You can confer as loud as you like. I'll ask you the question again. I must have an answer. OK? Who was the British radio and TV comedian who died in 1968 but struck it lucky with the classic comedy sketch, The Blood Donor? Danny Hancock. Is that your answer? Yeah. yeah. You're going on to tonight's final. There we go. All right, Danny, come. OK, Dennis, I'd like to come across. Go in. Over here, come. That's it. All right, now let's tell you what you're going to go away with tonight. Uh, Louise and Mike are going away with £250 tonight, so not a bad night out. Thank there you are. You enjoyed yourself? Very Thank much. you. Good, Thank lovely. You. Thanks for being with us. Uh, Marty and Dennis, you're taking away a stereo stacking system, binoculars, a video camera, and £100. So you had a nice time? Very good. good. Thanks for coming down to see us. And uh, all of you, each and every one of you, will take away a copy of the board game so you can play that at home. And Caroline and Bill, what have you won already? Well, you've got a weekend in Brussels, his and hers watches, exercise equipment, £250 you've won already. You've got a chance now to make that up to £3,000. If you do, you've got to marry a girlfriend who's in the audience. <laughs> so it's going to be very interesting. Let's give them all a nice round of applause. Here we go, Caroline. Stand beside your sister there. All right, let's tell you how you play the end game. Now, you move across as before, but this time you play the game horizontally or vertically. I'm going to ask you which move you want to make. You shout out top, middle, or bottom. If you look at the screen there now, you can see we've got 10 arrows, 10 questions, and 10 hotspots. If a question comes out, it'll be true or false. You give me an incorrect answer, it becomes a hotspot. If you go for our top money tonight of £3,000, you cannot hit any more than two hotspots. For £2,000, no more than three hotspots, and for £1,000, no more than four. If you go for the top money, but you fail to get right the way across, then we'll give you £300 for every move you make, but not for the hotspots. For £2,000, we'll give you £200, and for £1,000, we'll give you £100. Before you make your mind up, the computer will now jumble them all up.
All right, they've gone. What do you want to do? 1,000, 2,000, or 3,000 pounds? They're going for the 3,000. Let's give them a little encouragement. Come here, Caroline. <laughs> All right, now, think about this, Bill. We, you know, we all want you to win this 3,000 pounds. All right? <laughs> so, best of luck and many happy years to you. <laughs> Top, middle, or bottom for 300 pounds? <laughs> Bottom one. It's a question, all right? Does it be true or false? The disciple Peter is said to have denied Christ three times. True or false? Yeah. True's right. Three hundred pounds. Run away. Okay, they are belt, top, middle, or bottom. Uh, middle. middle one. Yes, six hundred. And a very worried-looking <laughs> bill. Okay, top, middle, or bottom. Top, middle, or bottom. <laughs> top one for nine hundred. Yes! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for for £1,200, top, top middle or bottom? Top. Top one again. Oh. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> 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 right. Top middle or bottom? The bottom one. 1500 come on. Ooh! <laughs> Still got twelve hundred pounds. You can still enough to get married with, right? <laughs> For fifteen hundred pounds, top, middle, or bottom? Uh, bottom. Bottom one. Fifteen hundred. Yes. There we go. All right. Top, middle, or bottom? For one thousand eight hundred pounds. The middle one. For eighteen hundred. Yes. yes. For two thousand one hundred pounds, top, middle, or bottom? Middle. The middle one. It's a question. Get it right. <laughs> if you were competing for the Davis Cup, you would be playing golf. True or false? False. It's tennis. That's right. Well done. <laughs> All right. Now you've only had one hot spot gone, <laughs> apart from yours. <laughs> <laughs> There's one, so you can do it on this one. This is you for life, Bill. <laughs> Top, middle, or bottom for the three thousand pounds. The bottom. The bottom for the jackpot. Come on! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Okay. Well, what do you think? Not a lot. <laughs> well, we'll leave you to talk about it afterwards, okay? All right. So, let's have a look at the screens. Let's see where they all were. Yeah, oh, Lynn, have a look as well. <laughs> there they are, all the way across. Going to get married. <laughs> now, let's tell you what you won. This is your future husband. He's got all these things, so make sure. <laughs> when you marry him, that he's still got them. You got a weekend in Brussels, his and hers watches, exercise equipment, £250 you won earlier on, plus a jackpot, £3,250. Happy wedding time. <laughs> All the best. Good night. God bless. <laughs> See you next week. Right. Coming up in just a mo, or should I say, just a moo. <laughs> Suit yourself. Yes, we step up to the hockey with Jim. Bullseye next on Challenge. While over on Pick next, more outrageous exploits for us to enjoy because they've all been caught on dashcam.